y'all, Mama Snark here. I am doing an updated Amazon Fresh video. The last time I used Amazon Fresh um, Prime, like the Prime Amazon Fresh service was like a year and a half ago now. So I'm doing an updated video. I will insert a little clip here for you of going to Bell Services to pick that order up. Bell Services is going to be located at the very front of your resort. Find the front doors and Bell Services is usually to the left hand side or in this case the right hand side of the front doors. And we ended up, um, the guy put everything on a cart and he's like, no, 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 I'll walk it. So I've heard that you can like check out the little, the little wheelie carts and bring it yourself. But the guy insisted on walking it up to our room, which is fine. That means we didn't have to bring the thing back because we're in the, the furthest building, <laughs> the furthest room on the furthest building at Pop Century. So always make sure you tip your cast members that do anything like that, that like handle your luggage or handle anything like that. So we have our grocery order here. It's a very small, minimal grocery order, but I'm going to show you what, what I got. And I'll also, before I do this, I'm going to insert a couple of screen grabs and a voiceover on the whole ordering process. So the first step is to pick out which items you want for your grocery delivery. This is the main reason that we wanted a grocery delivery was to have some cold brewed coffees on hand. And Amazon Fresh happened to have theirs on sale for very, very cheap because they were reaching close to expiration. We found out when we got them, which was fine. But this is the reason we chose Amazon Fresh over Walmart delivery, which is what I usually do. So apparently Amazon Fresh no longer has free delivery for Prime members, which was the case when I had ordered it like a year and a half ago the last time I used Amazon Fresh. So now there will be a delivery fee. And with Amazon Fresh, the fee is contingent on how much you spend. So as you can see here, it says add $5.84 worth of stuff to have a $6.95 delivery versus a more expensive delivery. So the more items you purchase, the cheaper that delivery fee is gonna be. And I believe if you hit $100 worth of stuff, your delivery will be free. Once you pick out all of your items, it'll ask you before you check out, is there anything that you're missing or you wanna add? Like the things on the bottom, it says, did you forget? These are things that I had ordered in a previous order the last time I did this at Disney World. And then you're going to pick your delivery time. So the great thing about Amazon Fresh is that they do usually have two-hour delivery windows. So say you get there and realize that you would like to order groceries, you can pick a time slot that's two hours from the time that you've gotten there versus Walmart. You typically need to order, I would say at least a day out just to make sure that you get a time slot that you want. So they do have several time slots for delivery times, as you can see here, and the price for it. Now, one tip that I have that I have started doing even with my Walmart pickup orders here at home is I'll typically set my delivery window for at least an hour before I actually am set to either arrive to pick up or an hour before I actually want my groceries delivered. That way, if things start running behind, you're still going to get your delivery and Bell Services will hold your items for you and keep refrigerated items cold for you as well. Now comes to inputting your address for delivery. What I do love about Amazon Fresh is they made this step a little bit easier than Walmart, where it actually gives you kind of like a suggested address when you start typing it in. Whereas Walmart, I had to figure it out just by finagling and playing around on it. So I'll say with a lot of the delivery services to Walt Disney World Resort Hotels is that you're going to want to put Orlando as the city, not Kissimmee. For some reason, the grocery delivery places do not recognize Kissimmee as an actual address. So put Orlando, Florida. So two steps here after you have your delivery address set. When you put your name, I like to put dash and then guest so that they know that they are delivering it to a guest staying at this resort. And then for delivery type, select doorstep. Then you're going to come to please select a property type. I, I put in other. And then where should we leave your packages at this address? I selected building reception because they will be delivering your groceries to Bell Services at the front of the resort. When you make this selection, it will ask you when are the operating hours for this business or this place to deliver. And I selected open 24 hours because Bell Services is open 24 hours at Disney World. For security code, I typed in leave with Bell Services just as a precaution. 
And then do we need additional instructions to find this address? I just typed in, again, just to be repetitive, hotel guest at Pop Century Resort, leave with Bell Services. After you've completed everything, you're going to get basically an invoice of your order that'll have all of the prices listed, all of your products listed, as well as the address they are delivering to. One thing I love that Amazon Fresh does, and Walmart does this as well, is that even after you have placed your order, you have within a certain time frame to edit your order and add more items to that. I want to say it's within a few hours of your set delivery time. So I've actually added things morning of when I've remembered them, things that I've forgotten or things that I realize I'd like to have. So you can go back through and add more items. And as you can see here, I realized that I had forgotten to add Powerade to my order. And one bottle of Powerade at Disney World is $5. I don't want to pay that. I have paid that in the past because I tend to get dehydrated on travel days. And I knew that. And I didn't want to pay that much money for a Powerade. So instead of paying $5 for one Powerade, I paid $6.49 for an entire case of it for the duration of my trip. Okay, so this is what we got. Minus, the same thing happened to me on my last trip when I did a Walmart order. If you have anything refrigerated, make sure you tell Bell Services that because they did forget our two spinach salads and guacamole, which I will pick up later on and I'll show you that when I pick that up. But this is all of our non-refrigerated stuff. So just be sure to tell them if you have anything like perishable in the fridge because they do put that in the refrigerator for you. So this is a four day, what is it, five nights? Five nights, four full day stay. So I got some Powerade Zeros, bottled waters, enough cold brew coffee <laughs> so that we can each have two a day because my friend and I are caffeine addicts. So I got the Lacombe and these, and it's because of the expiration date, which I figured that would be the case. The Mochas and this one right here were on super sale for, these were I think like three dollars for a four pack and this was like four dollars for a four pack this one was 11 which is like the normal price so i went ahead and just got us a variety to have cold brews in the morning i got an apple for each of us honey crisp because the ones in the food court that you can get are like three dollars an apple it's like two something and it's like a gala or a red delicious but just something to get us a little like fruit and fiber at some point after all the park junk <laughs> i just got a was this, like a two liter of Coke, just for a little something, and some tortilla chips. And like I said, I got some guac to go with this, and I got a spinach salad for each of us that I'll show you when I pick that up later. All right, went and picked up the cold things. Some guacamole to go with our tortilla chips, and I got us each one of these spinach salads because there comes a time in Disney where you can only eat so much garbage before you need roughage. And the salads in Disney parks aren't the best usually, and they're like 10 bucks. These were $3 a piece. So, putting these in the beverage coolers, I'm going to go get a Ziploc bag full of ice from the vending machine to make sure that they stay at an appropriate temperature. So, that is it for this very quick grocery haul. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, it helps you make a decision on what grocery delivery service to use when staying at a Walt Disney World Resort. Make sure you hit that thumbs up notification, subscribe to my channel, and follow us along for Disney adventures. Bye guys.